Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Sh uh, Sunshine Brothers Inc., for performing our Advocate Session. That was thank a great you. set. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Uh, first off, uh, can you uh, tell us a little bit about how you guys st got started as a group? Me and Tony met when I was a freshman in high school, so like six years ago. Tony was a junior through a mutual friend who moved to Florida. So we've been playing in different bands for, you know, the last six years. But Sunshine Brothers only really formed when we met John. Uh, we, we will all go to UMass over here. So we met John, or I met John, a couple years ago. Had a few classes <coughs> with him. And then Charles, I also met at UMass. Like the first day, I think we played music. Mm -hmm. And I think it, was, it wasn't very good, but you know, it was all right. And yeah, he ended up joining eventually. And now I live with Charles, so, yeah. Uh, one, uh, one thing I was really impressed by was the original music, but also the, the awesome David Bowie cover. Oh, uh, I imagine he's one of your influences, but uh, I, I also like uh, just listening to music. It sounds a little bit like Arcade Fire. Like it, it sounds like it has that influence. But in your own words, uh, what are your influences? I'll start. Uh, yeah. Beach Boys. The Beach Boys for me. <laughs> love Beach that sounds. Love, love Brian Wilson. Love the Beach Boys. Yeah. I, I definitely heard that too. <laughs> yeah, we, we love the Beach Boys. Uh, for guitar, at least, like, I don't know, I like a lot of like surf stuff um, and like jizz jazz type stuff, like Conan Moxon, those kind of things. So that's what I've been listening to. And yeah, funk. I don't know, we listen to a lot of stuff. Yeah, we, we, we pull a lot of things. Um, we like funky tracks, we like psychedelic stuff. So we all bring our own little flavor and then something comes out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess uh, I think my influence is I think of Stevie Wonder and Alicia Keys my favorites yeah Charles actually did a really great rendition of Alicia Keys last week for Valentine's Day this oh, is far cool. this is in the future now but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's cool we all bring different different influences and comes together yeah so are you working on any uh, records or did, did you just release a record uh... we released our first EP in September so that's been out for a bit um, you can listen to it on Spotify or Bandcamp or whatever Apple Music but we've just been recording um, a little bit now. Mm -hmm. We want to get something out this year. Hopefully summertime is the goal. But we've been writing a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of the songs we played today are two of them. Two of them are unreleased. Unreleased. Tracks. We're working on them. Yeah. So hopefully we can some have something out within like six months. And, you know, definitely a song before then at least. But maybe not like a full record. Or What's uh, the studio setup like? Is it your own yeah. studio or... Uh so the last thing we did was sort of wacky. We did, what, four songs? And we did four songs at a buddy's studio who was a student who dropped out, but he's, like, really into that. We did two songs, like, DIY, like, at our different houses, and then we did two in a studio on West Side at Rotary Records. Yes, uh, Warren Ammerman's the producer over there at Rotary Records. Yeah. It, it's made out of an old church. It was an old church building that he kind of turned into a recording studio, so tried it out and it was a lot of fun yeah. oh yeah it's uh, I actually recorded a song there myself so uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's awesome the next thing will probably be sort of the same kind of mixture we just try to keep it all like, cohesive which is tough but yeah the things we've been doing now have been DIY just at our house um, home <coughs> studio but we'll probably have to go to a real studio at some point for other more complicated tracks shucks I, I bet people are wondering a little bit about the mic setup for today. Uh, oh, can, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? So we don't... I didn't have a mic stand at my house. This is all we had. So um, I got this mic, and I was like, I really wanted to use it, and I didn't want to hold it, you know, because I, I had to play guitar. So I found this. I don't even know what this... Music stand. Yeah. It's, it's like, a broken oh, music stand. Oh, it's my stand. broken music stand. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's still a Charles' <laughs> broken music stand. And his paper towels. Those are your paper towels also. And, uh, it's fine. We, I wasn't using either yeah, of them. Yeah. You can still use it, yeah. you know. It just, yeah. It's DIY. It works. Yeah. I, to blow my nose right I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. It's slowly dwindling. It started, you know, big and fat, but whatever. Maybe this will become a thing. You it's know? a metaphor, <laughs> yeah, for, for the, the passion of the seasons. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any gigs uh, coming up uh, uh, mid March, uh, late March, early April? Yeah. Um, so we're playing on St. Patty's Day at PA's Lounge in Somerville. We're going to be in New Haven April 5th at Cell Blues. 13th, 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 12th. Yeah, so... The, oh, oh, this is... Yeah, that will be in the past at that point, I think. And then we're going to be in Amherst April 6th. Uh, Amherst again April 8th for, like, some benefit. And then we'll be in Boston again, or in Cambridge at Plow and Stars. 
in late April. April 27th. And then hopefully, yeah, 27th in uh, May, we're planning a little tour going down the East Coast to, like, West Virginia. So that could be cool. cool. Hopefully that works out, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks so much for performing <laughs> on Sessions. That was yeah. a great set. Thanks for thanks having me. It was a ton of fun. Thank you, Bailey Advocate. Yeah. Oh, I just had to